Hey guys, Josh is more here with a very quick video to talk about two amazing updates that we've just released. Uh, the first one is a big tagging uh, update. Okay, we've greatly improved our tagging system, um, not only uh, on how you can tag your subscribers, but uh, actually creating some automation in the background to better um, segment your list and create more targeted lists based on the actions that your subscribers are taking. So uh, previously, our tagging system was uh, began at the uh, email broadcasting level. So depending on what uh, actions your subscribers took, uh, when you send out an email, you can tag them based on that, those actions that they took. But now we've extended that so that you can create empty tags. Okay, and then you'll be able to tie that to a web form and tag people at the moment of uh, subscribing. Okay, so if you have, if you're running uh, Facebook traffic or you're running, uh, you know, YouTube traffic or whatever it may be, you can tag those specific web forms to the specific ta traffic source. And then once that person is on your list and they're tagged with specific tags, you can then create some additional automation so that depending on what actions they take, the moment they land on your list, you can continue to segment them from that point forward, okay? Uh, so I'll show you how that works here in a second. So I'll just create a test tag here. I'll do test tag, okay? And here's where I can enable ta tag automation, okay? Now, depending on where you're at in your campaign, uh, this is where you're going to set that up. Okay. Uh, so if someone here, you can see it says when a new email will be added into this tag, it will be added to the tags below as well. Okay. Uh, so for instance, if I want the person to be subscribed and, and uh, tagged with this test tag, but at the same time, they're going to be interested in video right away because I know they're coming from a specific uh, video offer, I can go ahead and tag them right away with that so that I know that they're specifically interested in video. And then here I can do when a new email will be added into this tag, it will be removed from the tags below. Okay, so I can remove them uh, from any other previous tag, uh, just in case. So if uh, this person happens to be on another on another list or on another tag, I want to make sure that they are removed from something. And this is very powerful. Uh, if you're building um, a list of buyers. So let's say that this is uh, going to be tied to a web form and also to a freebie form. But then once they, uh, excuse me, um, let's say this is a buyer form and this is a freebie form. Once they buy something, they're going to be removed from the freebie list. Okay. So that's when uh, these kind of things can come into play as well. Uh, and here is when an email will be unsubscribed from this tag, it will be removed from this tag as well. So if you, if one person uh, re removes from one tag, you want to re completely remove them from all the other ones, uh, then you can add that automation as well. Okay. Uh, and then here you can choose for this to be a new empty tag. And by this empty tag, you can also tie it to a particular mailing uh, account. Okay. Uh, so that you know that anytime you mail, the this particular empty tag it's going to be tied to uh, a particular mailing account whether it's an smtp a third party or our elite service okay now um again this is important because before uh tags were already tied at the broadcasting level okay but now since we're extending it and and since this is an empty tag that meaning there are no subscribers on this tag that i'm creating right now I have to connect it to uh, an email source uh, and that's you'll see why here in a minute because uh, we'll be able to uh, create follow-up sequences to specific tags as well. So we need to tell Sendio what mailing uh, service to use when we're emailing that tag, okay? Uh, so here I'll put my name, I'll leave that empty, I'll connect my unsubscribe footer and I do not want to receive a notification. So I'll go ahead and create. Okay. So now I've created a new tag, which is here. That's going to that have some automation to it. And I've also connected, um, connected it to a specific mailing system. Okay. 
So now that there are no subscribers, remember this is an empty tag that I have just created. Now I can come here to the web forms and if I add a new web form, I can just do testing tags. Okay. And here I'll just select this. All right, I'll go ahead and create form, click done. All right, now that that form is created, I can come in here and click edit. And now you'll see that I can enable tag automation, okay? So if I click on enable tag automation, I can I can click the plus sign and then I'll tie it to this test tag that I just created, okay? And now I hit save. Okay, so now this web form is tagged with that specific tag that I just created, okay? Uh, and now from that point forward, I can come over here to follow-up sequences. I can create a new follow-up sequence and then I can come here and click on tags and I'll select new tag emails and then I'll be able to select this test tag that I just created so that now I have a whole entire automation system set up. So once someone subscribes to my web form, they're going to be tagged specifically to this test tag and then based on the actions that they take from that point forward, so let's say that they purchase a particular product, they're gonna be removed from this freebie list, added to the buyer's list, and removed from any other list as well, okay? So uh, there are some really exciting things that you can do with this new tagging automation uh, because again, it can go multiple layers deep and then from that point forward, you can just continue to create a ton of automation from that point forward, okay? And it'll allow you to successfully tag all of your subscribers so that you know who's a freebie, what they're interested in, whether they're a buyer of one, multiple, or all of your products, and then you'll be able to uh, start emailing them, not only create sequences to be triggered as soon as they uh, get join a specific tag, but you can also create broadcast emails to those specific tags so that you can know who's interested in what and send a lot more targeted emails, which ultimately increase your opens, your clicks, your profits overall, okay? So uh, hopefully you uh, grasped the entire power of this and I might make a few more videos just to break this down a little bit more, uh, but that is the tagging sequence that we have just released, okay? You can now create empty tags tie them to a web form and then create some tagging automation in the background so that your subscribers can be moved from tag to tag depending on their actions that they're taking while they're on your list, okay? So uh, hopefully you enjoy that and hopefully you put that into practice and I'm gonna go ahead and create a separate video now for the other update.